Hey everybody, welcome to Canines on Duty Boredom Solution Time. So what are some things that we can do with our dog that is not only going to occupy our time and have a little fun with our furry friend, and uh, but also something that is going to exercise them mentally and physically. So um, I do what I like to call the find it game. It's similar to uh, searching for narcotics or explosives. It's following scent cones and scent pods to get to the source, which in this case is going to be some beef treats. Uh, this is a lot of fun because if you think about it this way, what happens is, is this tiny little tasty morsel of food is setting off um, or giving off odor. Well, then you have uh, airflow within your home you know, especially if the heat's on or the AC's on and it's blowing this odor. So let's say, for example, the dog picks up on this tree odor over here. It has to use its brain and say, okay, I smell it and ooh, it's getting stronger, it's getting stronger. So there's a lot of processing happening inside the brain, which means they're trying to solve a puzzle. So this is gonna exercise them mentally, but also depending on how hard you hide these, um, it's also going to exercise them physically because the dog's running back and forth in different locations. I'll start off in the very beginning with a dog that doesn't know how to do this. I'll start off in one room and I'm quickly going to show you how to begin training a dog to do this. So I want to take just a couple of these, maybe no more than three or four, and I'm just going to do two. And you want to actually get the dog very, very close to these um, item. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off very simple and I'm just going to hide this right here by the leg. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my dog in and I'm just going to present like this. That's it. I'm going to get them close to the odor. Remember, I want them to actually do this work on their own. So they need to be able to pick up the scent. I don't want to put my hand right on it. Just get them close, get them in the vicinity and watch what happens here. Let me adjust the camera here for a moment. And then I'm gonna call my dog in here. Here, find it. Little boy, find it. And look at that, he found them. So now what I can do is I can make it, I, I wanna do that probably maybe two or three times and uh, then just see, I'll make it a little bit more complex as I go. Um, so let me take Trace out and I'll show you what it looks like when it's a, he's already done this a hundred times, that probably a thousand times. So he's pretty skilled at it, but your dog is gonna start there where you're only hiding no more than four pieces. You get close to the vicinity where it is. If your dog's really far off, then you can move your hand a little bit closer. You just don't wanna go right to the source and put your hand on it. You really want that dog to use his brain to feel like, oh, I smell something and it smells really good. Oh, it's getting stronger, it's getting stronger. Oh, there it is, all right, I get my reward. That's gonna build that drive to wanna do that whenever you say the magic words, find it, right? So um, let me uh, pause the video here and then I'll get Tracer out of here and I'm gonna hide some a little bit more um, difficult and then I'm gonna film it so you can actually see some of the behaviors involved and how it really exercises the dog mentally and physically. So hang tight. So I have them hidden now and I'm gonna call Trace out. I don't know how much you'll be able to see because I got my camera stationary, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, find it. So I'll try to keep you in the loop here. So there's one on top of some books we have over there in the corner. Find it. I uh, got another one hidden on the chair. I threw one in his kennel. 
here we go. Find it. Now he's missing one on the coffee table there. So let's see if he can get it on his own. If not, then I'll help him out a little bit. But he should know this. But we've also shot this video like 10 times, so he could be <laughs> a little tired. Find it. And you notice how I'm just casting, just nonchalantly, go find it. Remember, the dogs will get dependent on us if we're always pointing it out and helping them. We want him to figure it out on his own. That's the whole point in this game. Oh, look at that. He's onto something, I think. There it is. You see that head snap? I don't know if you caught it. I might, it might have been out of frame. But his head snap. Go boy. Go boy. Good job. His head, we, there was a little head snap there. I'll have to see if you can see that in the video. But um, that head snap meant, oh, I smell something. So, yeah, so that's the find it game. Now, a couple rules for this or a couple ideas. You don't have to use just one room. You can use multiple rooms. Sometimes what I do is I put them in a downstay in the kitchen and then I go to multiple different rooms and hide five or six. Um, and then in the beginning, he didn't know to go to the other rooms. So I had to take him into the other room, tell him find it all over again. And sometimes he was so confused that I actually had to kind of go through what I showed you in the beginning where I get close to it and then I point it out for him and then kind of let him take it from there. Now he'll see me go into other rooms from the kitchen and then he knows just to search other rooms. If he doesn't see me, then all I have to say is go in the bedroom and find it. And then he knows what that means now because of repetition. So it's a great little game to play with your furry friend, especially during these times where you're um, stuck in the house and if you're anything like me, watching my dog work and watching that body language, like the position of the ears, position of the tail, um, that head snap, that to me is just so intriguing. So it, it makes me feel good too, to know that I, I've done something good for my dog and that I'm exercising them both physically and mentally. And I just love to watch those gears turn in the head. So if you guys try this technique at home, do me a favor, let's leave some comments and tell us how it worked out for you. I know that if you have a police dog, you're probably not gonna wanna do this because then you're teaching the dog to search for food and that's the whole point. We try to proof them off of that so they don't indicate on food in a vehicle. So this is probably gonna be more for you pet dogs. However, you people with your work dogs, if, if training is shut down, um, maybe get a hold of your trainer and ask them, hey, are there any fun games that I can do during this, this uh, time where we're, we're not training as much? And then uh, let's see what they say. And if, if they tell you some things, maybe post it on here and give some other people some ideas on what they can do with their dog while we're stuck inside the home. So for now, stay safe, watch your six, and as always, Semper Fi.